Good morning friend welcome to the daily morning podcast of SBI Securities let us check what happened in the US markets yesterday so yesterday was a lackluster day as far as US markets are concerned so yesterday Dow Jones was down to the tune of 0.7% Nasdaq down by 0.2% and S&P 500 was down by 0.3% and uh, the economy uh, the data from us economy continue to be very robust with ism services expanding at 53.4 levels in january uh, versus expectation of 52 so this shows that the very economy is on a strong footing uh, uh, as far as us markets are concerned however uh, look uh, uh, looking at the key uh, global uh, uh, parameter which we track on a daily basis so yesterday US 10 year bond yield was up to the tune of 13 basis point at 4.16%. Dollar index is gradually inching up and is trading at 104.4 marginally negative for metal stock and crude oil is hovering between 75 to 80 dollar to the barrel. So yesterday crude oil was the Brent crude has settled at 78 dollar to the barrel. So uh, post uh, uh, US uh, Fed uh, monetary policy we have seen cool off in US 10 year bond yield from 4.15% to 3.9% and again during the span of last 6 days we have seen again US 10 year bond, bond yield achieving its previous uh, levels of 4.16%. This clearly shows that the rate cut expectation in the US economy has been pushed back uh, that was already expected and that is leading to a uh, marginal increase in 10 year bond deal as far as US markets are concerned. In terms of stock specific performance yesterday uh, uh, in US uh, since the result season is going on uh, McDonald reported weaker set of number uh, led by the uh, 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 subdued sentiment in Middle East market so MACD was down by 3.4% Boeing was down uh, by 1% and Tesla was down by 3.7% on worries over increasing competition and persisting uh, pricing pressure. Moving on to the domestic market again uh, yesterday domestic market we have seen uh, a very uh, good opening during the day uh, during the day and later on we have seen a profit booking so at the end of the day nifty was down by 82 points and have settled at 21771 levels whereas sensex uh, corrected by 0.5% and ended at 71731 levels. Earlier during the day Nifty was up by 0.5% and Sensex was up by 0.4% and as we approach the uh, day closing the markets have corrected and, see it, um, and, and have witnessed significant profit du- uh, during the day. In terms of fund flow foreign institutional investor have uh, mopped up shares worth 519 crore whereas uh, domestic institutional investor were seller and have offloaded equity worth 1189 crore during the trade yesterday. Uh, USD INR uh, yesterday uh, was uh, at 83.06 level and rupee has weakened by 13 paise against the US dollar. In terms of market breadth, so yesterday market breadth uh, was in favor of bears. So we have seen 2195 stock uh, ending uh, tra- uh, ending on trade uh, in uh, ending in trade yesterday, whereas advances uh, the 1765 stocks were in green in the trade yesterday. In terms of uh, 50, uh, 52 week high low, so yesterday since uh, during the morning trade during the uh, majority of the time since markets were in positive uh, zone, we have seen 541 stocks scaling 52 week high that's a pretty strong, strong uh, number in terms of 52 week high and that is uh, due to the positive sentiment in the market post the budget and at the same time 31 stocks have sc- uh, scaled the 52 week low. So let us check which are the stocks which have scaled 52 week high during the trade. Uh, yesterday so i am going through list uh, in bsc 500 so uh, sjvn punjab and Sin bank yuko bank iob general uh, gic nhpc idbi bank new india assurance bank of india central bank mahindra life ioc glaxo smithline consumer irb gujarat pipawa tata motors mcx madarsan sumi tata motors dvr sonata mrpl bpcl phoenix mill torrent Supreme, Petro, Ashoka, Bitcoin, NMDC, Power Grid, Interglobe Aviation, ONGC, Narayana, Rudhale, Concor, Varok Engineering, BHEL, Excite, Tata Power, NTPC, Pfizer, Gujarat Gas, Bank of Baroda, Union Bank, Power Finance Corporation, KSB, LNT Finance, NMDC Steel, Mishra Dhatu Nigam Limited, Hero Moto, Bosch, Ingersoll, Rand Bajaj Auto, Zyda, Swan Energy, Abbott India. So, so many companies yesterday have a scale 52 week high 
However, due to the profit booking, we have seen the stocks have ended at a lower level as compared to their 52 week high level. So the consolidation is uh, clearly uh, going on in the market and market is uh, right now trading in a very tight uh, range of 21,500 uh, on a lower side as far as Nifty is concerned. Uh, and uh, even the uh, options that I indicate that 21,500, 600 can be the support level whereas 22,000 can be the resistance level as far as equity markets are concerned as far as nifty is concerned so now let us check uh, uh, which are the key companies which have reported the results today and those will be in the action today so first of all uh, ashok leland reported a very solid robust set of number so we have seen revenue up by 6.6 uh, percent ebitda up by 46 percent mar ebitda margin has expanded by 475 basis point and net profit was up by 73 percent at 608 crore uh, so uh, uh, consistently it has been last three quarter where company has reported double digit beta margin and uh, we continue to remain bullish on the company based on the valuation. So right now uh, Ashok Leland is trading close to 18 time price to book uh, price to earning multiple and we continue to remain constructive on Ashok Leland with a price target of 225 over the period of next uh, 6 to 12 months. Uh, the next company which has reported good set of number is the uh, Bombay Stock Exchange, a very uh, a good set of number on a standalone basis. So in terms of volume growth, uh, the derivatives business continue to be uh, the volume driver, growth driver as far as the uh, BSC is concerned. So we have seen a significant ramp up in the volume on a month on month basis on the derivative side as far as Bombay Stock Exchange is concerned. And uh, at the same time, overall company has reported very good set of number. Uh, so, uh, however, in terms of valuation, uh, stock is trading slightly at an expensive valuation. So, uh, during the quarter, uh, on a, a uh, revenue was up to the tune of 82% YOY. EBITDA was up by 135%. EBITDA margin have expanded from 19% to 20%. And the company has reported net profit of 106 crore on a quarterly basis for the third quarter. Uh, right now, uh, if I annualize this number of 100 crore, uh, it seems that company has got a potential to report close to 400 crore of profit. And right now, the market cap of company is close to uh, 34,000 crore. So I feel all the positives are already in the stock price and we may see some neutral reaction as far as Bombay Stock Exchange is concerned. Uh, the next company which has reported a good set of number is ASK Auto. Uh, so the company has... Uh, uh, yeah, so revenue was up by 19% at 762 crore, EBITDA up by 41% at 80 crore, margin expanded by 163 basis point at 10.51% and net profit, profit was up by 71% at close to 50 crore. So ASK Auto, we may see some positive reaction in the trade today. In addition to that, uh, 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 Gulf Oil Lubricant has reported a very solid set of number. So the way uh, very similar to the Castrol revenue up by 5% at 817 crore, EBITDA up by 23%, margin expanded by 198 basis point, net profit up by 27% at 80 crore, and board, board has approved the interim dividend of rupees 16 per share. Uh, so good set of number from uh, uh, Gujarat oil, uh, Gulf oil lubricant and we may see positive reaction as far as Gulf oil lubricant is concerned. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Bharti Airtel, the company has reported a good set of number. So India operations continue to do well. Uh, if you see uh, overall uh, broad number, it may seem that the company has, is not doing well. Uh, however, one has to keep in mind that uh, there was a one-time impact of uh, significant devaluation in Naira, which is an African currency. Uh, if I take the India business, India business continue to do well. Uh, the company is on very strong footing as far as India business is concerned. So the company, uh, the company has reported ARPU of uh, uh, 208 rupees as compared to 193 rupees in a year ago quarter. Uh, 4G, 5G data customer are up, uh, uh, are up by 28.2 million year over year and 7.4 million Q on Q. So 71% of the overall mobile customer base is now 4, uh, 4G and 5G. The company has added net 0.9 million subscriber on a postpaid plan. So overall a very uh, robust set of number. If I have to uh, summarize the overall number, so uh, the total revenue was up by 5.9% at 37,900 crore. EBITDA up by 7.8% year over year at 20,044 crore. EBITDA margin at 52.9% expansion of 94 basis point year over year. 
and company has reported profit of uh, 2004 uh, uh, 2,442 crore as compared to 1588 crore in a year ago quarter. A very uh, robust, uh, pretty robust set of number, and uh, we expect uh, the stock to react positively in the trade today. In addition to that, uh, company uh, responsive industry has reported very robust set of number. Revenue up by 1.3 percent, EBITDA up by 84 percent, EBITDA margin expanded from. 13.7% to 24.9% and the company has reported net profit of 45 crore uh, as against the 17 crore in the year ago quarter. So a very soft, robust set of number as far as responsive industry is concerned. E-Mudra, E-Mudra has reported uh, a weaker set of number. Uh, revenue down by 2.9%, EBIT down by 8%. EBITDA margin has contracted and net profit was down by 6.6%. Uh, so weak set of number as far as e-mudra is concerned. Uh, a Triveni turbine continue to report a, a solid set of number revenue up by 33%, EBITDA up by 33%, EBITDA margin at 19.4%, uh, net profit up by 29.8% at 68 crore against the uh, estimate of 66 crore. So inline set of number, uh, the positive momentum continue as far as the Triveni turbine is concerned. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, consumer uh, facing businesses, Bajaj consumer, they have reported a decent set of number. So we have seen uh, uh, a kind of uh, so net sales is up by 3.3% year over year. Uh, EBITDA is up by 12.7% year over year and profit is up by 12% year over year at 37.6 crore. Uh, so a decent set of number, uh, almond drop hair oil continue to do well, has reported a flattish growth in this quarter. However, the extension of almond drop, uh, drop hair oil to the other products such as shampoo and lotion continue to do well and that uh, is getting reflected in the number. So a decent set of number on as far as Bajaj consumer is concerned, trading at a cheaper valuation and uh, the stock is likely to react positively in the trade today. In addition to that, again today, uh, more than 30-40 companies are likely to report number. Uh, so companies like Ace, uh, uh, Action Construction Equipment, Axo Noble, Britannia, CAM, Signity, EIH, VM Industry, Endurance. So there is an entire list uh, of companies which will uh, report the number and we have shared this entire list with uh, you all on uh, Telegram channel, on WhatsApp channel with uh, our dealers and advisor. At the same time, the same is getting covered in our morning report. The morning report can be accessed from the SBI Securities website at the same time from the Telegram channel. And in case you are client of SBI Securities, you can ask your dealer or advisor to share the report with you. Moving on to the uh, uh, basically uh, key news uh, to focus on. The, so uh, yesterday late evening, uh, there was a development from Geo Financial Services. Uh, they denied that they are in talk to acquire the crisis hit Paytm wallet of uh, uh, Paytm wallet from a Paytm 197 communication. So to, to that extent, uh, we will see some uh, um, minor negative reaction as far as Geo Financial Services is concerned. Uh, uh, Adani Total Gas and Inox India, the two companies have entered into the mutual support agree agreement under which Adani Total Gas and Inox CW, uh, CVA, which is the recently listed company, will mutually accord a preferred partner status for delivery of LNG and uh, LCNG equipment. Uh, so that's positive for Inox CVA in a medium to long term uh, perspective. Styrenix Performance Material, one of the uh, listed company as far as ABS is concerned, one of which is one of the important granule for making uh, uh, hard plastic. So they have awarded contract to Mott McDonald to set up a brownfield expansion project to increase the annual capacity of ABS from 85,000 ton um, per annum to 2,10,000 ton per annum. So that positive for Styrenix in a medium to long term, uh, from a medium to long term perspective. IEX reported their volume, so volumes were up by 26% year over year for the month of Jan at 10,893 uh, MU, so the stock may react positively in the trade today. Uh, SP Apparel, the company has acquired 100% stake in Yuan brand apparel, a subsidiary of Banari Aman spinning mill for 223 crore. Uh, need to see the impact, uh, what, 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 what will be the impact in a short to medium term. Uh, so stock may react positively in the trade today, however in medium to long term we need to see how this will add value to the SP Apparel uh, balance sheet. Today, uh, BLS e-services uh, will get uh, listed and uh, uh, 
द इश्यू प्राइस वॉज अराउंड वन थर्टी फाइव रुपीज तो पर शेयर द इश्यू वॉज सब्सक्राइब वन सिक्सटी थ्री टाइम्स ऑन द फाइनल डे एट द सेम टाइम वन आई पी ओ इज ऑन ऑफरिंग विच इज एपी जे सुरेंदर पार्क हॉटेल तो वी हैव रिलीज द डिटेल आई पी ओ नोट एंड दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन एस बी आई सिक्योरिटीज वेबसाइट एट द सेम टाइम ऑन टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑफ एस बी आई सिक्योरिटी सो वी हैव रिकमेंडेड इन्वेस्टर्स टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस आई पी ओ द आई पी ओ इज कमिंग दंपनी द कंपनी होल्ड्स अ वेरी मार्की ब्रांड द पार्क इट्स अ वेरी ओल्ड ब्रांड एंड क्लोज टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड कीज विच कंपनी इज होल्डिंग एट द सेम टाइम द फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज विच द कंपनी इज मोबिलाइजिंग विल बी यूज टू रिपे द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द डेट तो वी फील द कंपनी हैज गॉट अ पोटेंशियल टू डिलीवर हंड्रेड करोड़ प्रॉफिट and the company is asking the market cap of 3300 crore so it's a decent valuation at which the company is coming uh, uh, with an ipo uh, so one can apply for this ipo with short to uh, long term perspective we are expecting a decent listing in as far as apj surinder park hotel is concerned in terms of uh, 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 in terms of bulk deal so we have seen uh, uh, bright star investment which is the uh, one of the investment vehicle of radha krishna damani uh, they have sold a 3 lakh share in andhra pre- andhra paper at 542 rupees per share kamdenu venture neeraj one of the individual investor neeraj shah has sold 4 lakh share at 41214 levels til strip bill sunena garg has sold a 15 lakh share at 273 rupees per share Uh, TFCI has sold 5 lakh share at 231 rupees per share so that's uh, 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 that's uh, on the bulk deal front if i have to summarize uh, today's the discussion uh, so stock specific action will continue in the market markets are under the consolidation mode however uh, psu seems to be over bought overheated so kindly uh, trade cautiously as far as public sector stocks are concerned i am not against the public sector stock but it seems uh, the market seems to be uh, there seems to be over exuberance as far as public sector stock is concerned at any point of time we may see a significant profit booking in public sector stock and it is better to stick to the companies which are reporting a solid set of number so we have already discussed many results today which have reported uh, many companies which have reported good set of number and it better to stick to them don't take any uh, adventurous bet uh, in the such an volatile environment that's all for the day thanks for patiently listening to us have a good day investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing